Coming up next, Faith Builder with Apostle J.B. Makananisa on Cherries TV. Remember, it's him who gave all to be for the edification of the church. He decides. So if now we decide, he's the one who sits on the circumference of himself. And the 24 oldest are there. And angels all around here. And he sit and say, I'm seeing cherries. There's this boy, there's this girl. There's that one. Now, <laughs> let's give that one this. They decide. He decide. And when he take decision, there's no return. We must not take our own decision. We are insulting him. Remember, he sits there. You can't stand in front of him. You can't stand in front of him. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I know you can't stand in front of the living God. You can't even see his face. If you see his face, you are finished. Even the power in the presence of him is so mighty. He's so mighty that, you know, you need to fear him. The moment you enter his presence, whether you are so strong or what, you realize that he's the one who created your eye, your heart. He put everything and put it together and make you in the spirit. So now, wait for him. Wait for him. One day I was taken to him. When I reached there, where I was standing, I was told that, can you look around? When I looked there, I saw the hairs. I saw the back. I saw at the back. You know what? I, when I was still want to touch the hairs, I heard the sound of the angels at the back. And the, the you know, making a strange noise that even irritated like it's entering my bones. When I was still surprised, the power that was there put me in front of him and I lie down there. Lie down there by the head, like this. There. And that is why you see me. I don't want to play by this living God. I don't want, he is so everything. Here, we are just standing on his hand like this. He can just do like this, you disappear. So let's fear him. If he is not saying we are this, we must not be that. And he can bless you. If we seek him in truth, you know, what makes you to be rejoiced is your salvation of your soul. It's not money. It's not a success in the world. It's not curse. It's your soul that one day you'll go back where you come from. So don't look around. Don't look at anything. Devil is manipulating you, knowing that if you get this, you'll be like that. And these things, you will leave them behind. What you need to do now, you forget these things that people are getting. If you seek him, all shall follow you. Remember the scripture. It was Jesus who said, all shall follow you. So, whatever you gather, whatever, one day you'll be inside the coffin. Whatever you gather, you gather this, you gather this, you gather this. One day you'll be inside the coffin. People will carry you like this. Carry you like this. And they say, oh my good, good. Others who are following, they say, but what about his car? What about his wife? What about his girlfriend? What about others are crying behind saying, he, he, he was my boyfriend, but I can't tell anybody. He used to give me 50,000 is to give me for 3,000 and yourself, you are there where you work for. Can we just fear God? Tell me, can we just fear God? 